Good morning. This is Jen, and I am here today with a quick tutorial showing you how you can easily uh, create a bulge, uh, for lack of a better word, um, on any font that you have. So the first thing is an in Inkscape. Over here, you want your text tool, which is the little A. So we're going to click on that. And then I come up here to the to the text box and I put in what font I want to use. So we're just going to use impact for this. And then you just click on your screen and type what it is that you're wanting to type. So we're just going to put warp text. So the thing with Inkscape is when you have text, it's text. Just like in Cricut Design Space, um, you know, you can double click it so you can edit it, you know, if you want to add some more letters or something like that. Um, but in order to manipulate it, um, you need to first convert it to a path. So to do that, it's really easy. You just go up to path and you're going to do object to path. Uh, or you can use the shortcut, which is what I use, shift control C, and that makes it a path. Then you'll notice at the bottom here, it tells me this is a group of eight objects. Sorry. So we need to ungroup it. And to ungroup it, you can come over here to the sidebar, and you can click on the blue circle with the little yellow uh, rectangle. That's to ungroup. Or you can go to Object, Ungroup. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut, shift Control g which is what I do because for me it's faster that way. Then you can see I have little boxes around each letter. So now I have eight individual letters, but I want this to stay together. So I'm going to go ahead and union it, or you might say like weld it. So we're going to go to path and then union, and that's going to make it one solid piece um, that you can move together and manipulate together at the same time. Um, or the keyboard sh shortcut is control plus plus. So now this is no longer text. It's an object. You can see I can double click it and I can't type new letters or edit it. You'll see all these little bitty dots. That's, those are nodes. Um, that's because this is now an object. So it's ready for me to go ahead and start manipulating. So in order to warp this or to create a bulge on it, you're going to come up here to path and go down to the bottom and you'll see path effects. Uh, the keyboard shortcut is shift control seven. And that's going to open up a little box over here for you. And I do want to show you how you'll know if you've done this right so far. I'm going to come over here. And if you just type the text and try to go to path effects, you'll notice that I can't do anything. It's not going to let me click on anything or do anything there. But whenever I'm on the one that I've converted to a path, then that plus sign is blue, which means I can click on it. So if you forget those steps and you open up your path effects box and you can't do anything, it's okay. You just real quickly convert it to a path, ungroup it, weld it, and then now you have your plus sign. Okay? So back to actually putting an effect on this. What we're going to do is called an envelope deformation. So I'm going to click on the plus sign, and these are in alphabetical order and you're going to go to Envelope Deformation and click Add. And then you're going to get these different options. So you can see that you can actually bend the top, the right, the bottom, or the left. So for the look we're going for right now, we're going to bend the top. So I'm going to click on this little um, Edit. It looks just like our Edit nodes over here on the left. So that's what I'm going to click on. And you'll see that it gives me this green line on the top. When I click on the right, you'll see the green line is on the right. The bottom, the green line is there. The left, the green line is there. So we want the top. So now what I can do is I can grab this from around the center, and I'm just going to hold my mouse down, and I'm going to drag. And then you can warp it as much as you want. So you can just do a little bit. Hold on, I forgot to turn this off, sorry. Um, you can do just a little, you can do a lot, uh, you can even kind of scoot it to one side, it kind of makes it look all weird, you know, however it is that you're wanting to deform this text. But we're just going to do it right there. 
If you also want to do the bottom, you can click on bottom and you can do the bottom. And then look, you've got this bulge effect. Okay? I just hit undo there. Um, or if you only want the bottom, you can just do the bottom and keep the top flat. However you want to do it, you just click on the piece, um, sorry, not the piece, the side that you're wanting to deform, and then you'll see the green line, and then you'll go ahead and deform it. Once you have it how you want it, again, you have to make this permanent, because this is just temporary, because, you know, I can still be changing it. I can come in here, and I can still grab that some more. Um, but once you have it where you want it, to finish it off, you just need to go up to Path, and then object to path. But I'm going to show you before I do that, if I click on the edit nodes, you see my nodes are still down here with my normal text. That's because this deformation is temporary right now. I haven't set it in yet. Uh, I can still manipulate it and change it up if I want to. So in order to make it permanent, we go to path, object to path, and now you'll see that my nodes are along the edges of the letters, how I perform them, and there's no more path effect over here. But it's okay if you messed up and you change your mind, just hit undo, and then you can see that it, it's got the envelope deformation. If you decide you just don't want it, just hit the minus sign and everything goes back to normal. It's no big deal. Um, you can always undo, uh, but you can see how it takes just a couple seconds to go ahead and deform that and then convert it and then you're done. So once you have it, and if you're just doing the text in here and nothing else, you can do a file save as, and then um, type in whatever you want it to be saved as. And I usually save it as a plain SVG, but either one, it doesn't matter. Uh, the only difference is that an Inkscape SVG keeps some of the metadata um, of the file that Inkscape uses, um, but both of them load into on this helmet, you want to do a bulge on the top, the bottom, or the top and the bottom um, with your text. You can do it real quick and easy in Inkscape. If you found this helpful, just give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching. Thanks, guys. Happy crafting.